Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 17th. Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. I know we get a lot of people that really don't understand that. They get mad. They write something stupid in the comments because they don't get it. But, hey, it is what it is, right? We're all at different levels on our journey, so okay anyhow so let's just see what we got for right around the 17th what do we have for around the 17th mm -hmm. death reversed so the death reversed could be a near-death experience or you know, getting getting uh, this, this is getting old. You know, it's a time to let go. It's time to release. Um, when you get death reversed, there's been a delay. There's been a, there's been a delay or indecision. Uh, somebody needs to release. They need to let go. But there's a delay of some sort. This could also be a near death experience. Um, a profound life change is needed. We may have somebody here that is going to extremes. The Emperor could have something to do with a father, a boss, a manager, um, somebody that's in a leadership position. Uh, this is somebody that is very um, decisive, typically. Uh, we have protection here. We have protecting. So I'm not sure if we have a protector here. This is about taking charge. You know, this is this is represented by Aries. Aries is represented by Mars, which is fighting. So we may have some fighting going on. Could be war, you know. This is commanding. It's a commander of some sort. Somebody's in a leadership position that... I'm not sure if we're dealing with somebody that... I mean, the death card reverse could be, you know something that is coming to an end it is coming to an end may have something to do with a scorpio may have something to do with an aries i do feel like we have something that is coming to an end I, be prepared to battle be battle ready because the emperor needs to be prepared okay be prepared be prepared to to fight we have somebody here that's giving up a fight because of that death card reverse it's like can't do it anymore I mean, this could be a disaster, and that's what I wanted to say with the death card reversed. It could be, because somebody's been resisting change, you know. What you resist persists. We've had, we have somebody here that's been held back from their new life with the death card reversed. They've been held back, okay? And they probably, maybe they've been held back by fear, but they've been resisting change. But that emperor typically takes charge or something is about to change. A decision is being made. Somebody is making a decision. Four of Wands reversed. Four of Wands reversed. This is like uprooting, right? We've been getting this one a lot lately. This is not, things not, this is uh, trouble in paradise, but it's things not turning out as expected. The party is over. Um, this is a messy, messy situation. This is uh, nothing to look forward to. Not happy. Lack of commitment. Somebody's not in a good, happy commitment. The honeymoon is over. Okay, the honeymoon is over, the party is over. This is very, very messy. There's a lack of support, there's a lack of success. 
There's neglect here. Not happy at all. Somebody's in an unhappy, it's an unhappy home or an unhappy living situation, an unhappy foundation, whether it's a relationship or it's a live or it's both, it's a living situation. This is not what I want. This is not it. There could definitely be uprooting with the four of wands reversed, you know, wanting to go someplace else. I'm not happy here. I don't feel good here. This is not, it's not giving me life with the death card reverse. It's not bringing me to life, you know, it's not giving me what I need. Something to do with the home and the foundation. It's just not happy. It's not, it's not, there's no growth. It's, it's getting old, okay? It's definitely getting old. Eight of swords reversed. So that's breaking free. That's removing an obstacle and it is fear. We have somebody here that's been thinking a lot, okay? They've been in a place of, of thought. They've been playing it safe, staying in their own little prison. You know, they've been restricting themselves, confine, confining themselves, uh, being containing themselves, you know, being stuck in this place where it was safe, but it's been causing them a lot of mental turmoil. This is breaking free. This is reevaluating and breaking free. This is letting go of the emptiness. It's stepping outside. It's like, I can't do this anymore. And I really see that. I feel like we have somebody here that's just like, you know what, this is not where I want to be. It feels like prison. It does feel like prison. It feels like, you know, there's, there's not, it's boring with the four of wands reversed. There's no excitement. There's no passion. The party's over. The honeymoon is over. I'm looking for something more. There's been lies, and there's been deception, they may have even been cheating. We think we're Tom talking about the Seven of Swords now. Seven of Swords comes between, before the Eight of Swords. It feels like there's been definitely some deception. Somebody's been probably wanting to escape. They've been wanting to leave. You know, they're probably going to be taking a new approach, facing their fears, because the Emperor faces their fears. This is somebody that is, like, fearless. This is, this is a fearless individual that is making a difficult decision so a difficult decision is being made this is a this could be a judge it could be a ruler whoever this person could be a father could be a husband could be a, could be even a boyfriend it's a masculine energy that is taking charge because there's no life this is not a happy life four of wands reverse next to the death card reverse it's not a happy life okay there's a lack of commitment there's a lack of passion there's a lack of excitement you know, and it feels like prison. Somebody, is, it's like breaking free from prison, right? It's making an escape. It's like doing what I got to do. Taking charge. Stepping outside of the that fear. Somebody may be even fearful of commitment. Or maybe they're fearful of moving. They're fear because there's a foundation here. They're, they're fearful of starting a new life. Definitely resisting change. Anyhow, we have a warrior here that is about to uh, do something. This emperor happens to have an ace of swords in his hand. So this is somebody that is seeing the truth, gaining some clarity, taking back control, taking their power. Somebody is about to exert their power. They're about to take control. They're setting themselves free from a situation. It's interesting that I had to put my glasses on because it's like I gotta see clearly. So there's some sort of clarity, seeing something very clearly, especially with the Ace of Swords in that hand. Not that I don't see clearly, but I gotta see, that's what I was thinking, I gotta see clearly. Seven of Wands, now this is, the Seven of Wands is like standing up for yourself. Defending. Somebody's going to be defending themselves. There could be a fight. There could be a battle. There definitely could be. Because of that emperor needs to be battle ready. There's somebody here that needs to be ready. They need to be ready. They're going to be poked. They're going to be questioned. They're going to be put into a position where they need to fight. 
there's challenges, there's opposition, there's stiff competition. Somebody's about to be caught off guard. There is a need to defend and fight. So there, there could definitely be a fight. Somebody needs to defend themselves. There's going to be a, somebody's going to be put on the spot. This is like under attack, right? This may be a family situation with the Four of Wands, or it's a relationship. It could be a partnership, okay, a marriage or a commitment. Somebody is breaking free from a situation. It's a foundation, whether it's the home or the family or the relationship. They're breaking free. They're defending themselves. They've got to defend themselves. They have to defend themselves. They have to. There could definitely be a fight. There could be discord. It could be family discord. It could be with that four of wands. This is like a, it's interesting because a death card is like, what I just heard was, well, I don't even want to say it, but fight and death. You know, I mean, this is like, it's sick. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this fighting. I'm sick of it. This is fighting though. Strength reversed. Strength reversed is definitely struggling. Somebody is struggling. They're, they're weak. They're feeling weak. They're feeling uh, depressed. There's somebody here that lacks respect for others that is exerting control. We, strength reverse is giving up. And next to the Seven of Wands, that's a fight. Giving up a fight. Giving up a fight. Somebody may be giving up a fight. They can't do it anymore. It's depleting, you know. It's depressing. It's, it's too much. It is too much. They're giving up a fight. They're breaking free from this prison that they have been stuck in. Can't do it anymore. Hmm. We have somebody here. I mean, the strength. I think another card. Sick of it. I did say that already, didn't I? Three of Cups. May even have somebody here that is. Uh, well, we could have a third party situation here. We also have drinking. You see that drinking. There's drinking. There's partying. There's socializing could have something to do with social media somebody may be exerting their control on social media you know this is somebody that is a coward that is lacks respect for others that is it's something about social media here maybe they're gossiping especially with the seven of wands that can definitely be gossip and saying something on social media We have somebody here that is, this is a coward of some sort that is, I feel like this person is going overboard. I just do. I feel like they're going overboard. They're, they're trying to run somebody down. Something about friends. There could definitely be gossip here. I feel like there's gossip. Two of Cups. Two of Cups about a partnership. It's about a union. So there's something to do with a partnership here. We have somebody here that is also scared. They're scared. They're very fearful. They're fearful. And we have somebody here that's fearful of breaking free. They've been fearful. 
or they've been fearful of commitment. And I know that that's a different story, but strength reversed next to the four of wands reversed. That's fearful of commitment or fearful of uprooting, fearful of um, starting over by the looks of things with the death card reversed. Somebody's been very, very scared. They've been protecting themselves. Somebody's been protecting themselves as well. I also feel, and I know this is completely different, that we have somebody here that is drinking and they're gonna be acting, they're gonna be doing something. You know, I don't know if they're drunk when they're doing it. They could be. This card says father, mother, stranger. I can't really read the rest of it. Something from this day until the end of my days. It's something about wedding vows. I feel like it has something to do with wedding vows, but I feel like there's severing of ties. I do, I just gotta be honest. I feel like, cause there's no real commitment here. With the four of wands reverse, that could be a separation, could be getting a divorce, you know, or you know, initiating it. And it doesn't have to be a marriage. I feel like we have the end of a commitment here. Death next to the four of wands reverse. It's getting old. Holding on to this partnership is getting old. It does have to do with a partnership. I can't do it anymore. It's depressing. There could be another option with that three of cups. Breaking free. There's going to be a fight that this fight and there's gossip and there's talking, there's people gossiping, talking, causing problems. I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision. They're making a decision about their partnership, about their commitment, about their home. They've been trapped. Maybe they've been trapped in a commitment. They've been trapped in a foundation. They've been resisting change. They've been weak, maybe cowardly, maybe fearful. I do believe there is a change that is coming. Somebody's going to be put, they're going to be caught off guard by, I don't know, maybe questions. I don't know. Nine of Swords, whew. This is definitely fearful. This is anguish, depressed, worried, sadness, even feeling guilty. Wanting out. Somebody wants, ooh, that just fell right out. There probably is gonna be a fallout. I do think there is. This, it's like, I want out of here. I want out. I want out. Somebody wants out. They want out. They definitely feel like they're in prison. This is anguish. It's like, I can't do this anymore. This is a, I need out. I need out. We also have the Queen of Cups and reversed on the bottom. So they could be dealing with somebody that, you know, is very, very emotional or doesn't love them. This could be an unrequited love situation. I do feel like this is emotional. I feel like there's a victim mentality. There could be uh, throwing fits, throwing little hissy fits, wishy-washy attitude. Somebody that's not giving love. They're not giving love freely. I do think it's gonna be emotional, whatever is happening. This is like very, very emotional. Somebody's gonna be, I feel like we have some, I honestly feel like we have somebody here that is picking a fight. It has to do with feelings all over the place, emotions all over the place. We may have somebody here that is envious, that is jealous, that isn't really looking. I feel like we have somebody here that isn't really committed. And there's there could be issues with the family. This person isn't very loving. It doesn't isn't very love may not love the children may not love the the home there could be issues with the home there could be issues with the children there could be issues with the finances we could have somebody here that is very self-absorbed 
emotionally unavailable. You know, they don't really show their emotions. They don't express their emotions unless they're crying or throwing a fit. Or they're not just not emotionally invested in something. We may even have somebody here that is revengeful, that is scandalous, you know, that is doing something. Uh, they're acting on their emotions in revenge. I do feel anger here with that Nine of Swords. Look like we have somebody here that is angry and it's like, it's over. I feel like it's over. Something is definitely over. We have the Four of Cups. It's like, I feel like we have somebody here that is trying to love another person and whoever it is that they're dealing with just is not reciprocating. They're not reciprocating. They're not interested. This person's not interested. And it could definitely cause a fight. I feel like gritting my teeth. So something about gritting teeth, it's like, ah, this is so annoying. I think we have somebody here that is in engaging maybe in a third party situation they don't respect the commitment that they're in and there's going to be a change they could be gossiping they could be ganging up we could have like i say three people could be three women doesn't have to be that are causing problems i also feel like we have somebody here that doesn't respect the family doesn't like the children i just shuffled and the four of cups fell out again this is this is like complacent i'm not interested I'm not interested. We got somebody here that is uh, looking for something more. They're not interested. They want something more. It's like, no, I, I don't want it. I don't want it. And there is a third party situation here. There is. I do feel like we have somebody that is letting go of emptiness with the Five of Swords reverse. It's like, I just want to be happy. I got nothing left to prove. This is letting go of ego and walking away. I also feel like we have a very hostile situation here. I do feel like we have a hostile situation. We have somebody here that is abusive. And they are. And it's like, all, it's like walking on eggshells all the time. I do feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision about a partnership that has caused them a lot of anxiety and stress and worry and made them feel like they were trapped and they were trapped because they couldn't find their mental ability to break free. But this is removing that obstacle of fear and breaking free. I do feel like we have somebody here that is taking charge. They are. It's like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. So I feel like we have a big decision that is being made. And this is like admitting defeat and walking away. And I think it's because of a huge, huge, huge fight. I do think it's because of a huge fight. This is about, I gotta do what's right for me. I gotta do what's, what's, I have to do what's right for me at this time, you know? So I think that Removing an obstacle, breaking free from this prison, making a decision in regards to a partnership. It's probably been over for a while. The honeymoon's over. This is trouble in paradise. Somebody has been controlled, maybe by even more than one person. You know, it feels like there's a, it's a gang up. You know, it's a gang up. It's like walking away, walking away from the gang. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. This is this is protecting yourself. You know, I gotta do what I gotta do. And I feel like there's some competition here. This is make. This is like you know. There's there's. I feel like there's another option. I feel like there's another option. It's like I, you know, I'm done fighting. I am done. I am done. I am done. That's what, just what I want to say. We get one more card.
There's been a serious level of indecision about this uprooting, about this foundation. I feel like we have somebody here that is so sick of it. They're so sick of it. I got to do something. I got to take the lead. So somebody, yeah, somebody's going to be doing something. They are. Let's get one more card. Oh, there it is. Four of Swords reverse. This is fed up, exhausted, frustrated. This is the death of a situation. This is this is like even health issues. This is stress. Somebody, it's like I can't do it. This is like the this is deathbed, and that's what I saw earlier. It is. I I can't. This is this is like somebody that's like dying in the situation that they're in. It's reversed, and and it's interesting because it's like a near death experience, right? It's like I'm not. This is not how the story ends. You know, I'm I'm going for something more. Um, this is the end of a foundation with these fours as well. All is not well. Okay, we got three fours. They're all reversed. All is not okay. Somebody is in a foundation that, well, the four of cups isn't reversed, but the four of swords is and the four of spears. So all is not okay. So And we got the emperor. So we got four, 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 four. Universal guidance. Angel protection. Foundations. Oh, yes, yes. So somebody is making a decision about their current foundation. All is not okay. They have to do what's right for them. They're in a situation that they're where they're not getting any reciprocation, or they're they're not. They're about to make a big move. It's spur of the moment. I know that because I got the two of wands on the bottom. Spur of the moment, sudden decision. All is not okay. This is sick and tired of this whole family. I don't know what it is. Looks like it's a family feud or something like that. Drama. Hostilities. Leaving it all behind. Making a decision to do so. Somebody's also dealing with an individual that doesn't... You know, this person withholds love as punishment. Oh, fuck that shit. That ain't love. Good luck. 